Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SK beat. We're kicking. Just kicking. Just kicking. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And I hope you had a great day. Hope you had a very good day. Okay, hopefully my audio um, is working correctly. As far as I can see, it. Wait a minute, why am I here doing that? As far as I can see, it looks like it's getting some auto, but it's not showing me my red um, song that it needs to be in. So hopefully, y'all will be able to hear it. And we'll just get on into the tea, okay? I'm going to help you to the tea. Y'all remember Tina Marie? <laughs> okay. But anyway, we're going to get into the story, which I'm not saying that Nene Leaks is not being transparent, but I'm like, sometimes it's a little too little too late because the person that I remember being transparent about getting stuff fixed on their bodies was Candy Burris. Now I'm like, Nene, are you trying to... <sighs> You're trying to follow people now? Because <laughs> she called herself, y'all, an ambassador. An ambassador. Uh, with, let me see if I can find this this person. She's an ambassador for Georgia Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, PC. She called herself, talking about she want to take some fat from under here. And where she has said, and back part of her back, a bra area, and uh, on she want to uh, place the fat somewhere else where it is. You no, know, I guess she has indentations or dents maybe in her butt because she's talking about getting a small Brazilian butt lift. I'm like, nay, nay, baby girl, you too old. If I'm 54, you 55, I think. So I'm like. When is enough is enough, girl? I know you're trying to stay relevant, but I'm like, come on. What ambassadorship are you doing? You mean spokesperson you're talking about? Because an ambassador is more so when you are showing off another person's country or state or you're um, doing philanthropy type work where you're talking uh trying to raise money for different charities donations and stuff like that now that's an ambassador okay or sonia could have been an ambassador for the u.s you know representing us uh in the olympics but i think you just mm -mm, honey are you getting your butt lift free all oh, this sucking and tucking you doing you getting it free or you getting it half price and you want to call yourself Put it out there in case we're looking for body work or whatnot. Like, nay, 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 nay. You're advertising, baby. You're advertising for someone else's business. I mean, your body is fine, Nene. Okay, what what more do you want? Girl, is uh, your boyfriend, uh, Naomi, is he telling you you don't need... You know, you, you need to get the Brazilian butt lift. You ain't got nothing back there. Is it picking at your baby? Well, then that's when you should drop that ego, okay? Because both of y'all are too old to be trying to play these new young people tricks with your body. Because you can go. I mean, any surgery is basically um, a health hazard, you know. It's 50-50. They put you under. You might not come back. You might bleed out to death. It is what it is. Remember Kanye West's mom? She wanted these techniques done to her as well and look what happened to her i mean is your blood pressure high are you taking any uh psych uh psychiatry type drugs or psych psychological drugs uh you know is your health stable enough did you talk with your primary care physician prior to jumping into something that to me you don't need your body 
it's fine. I mean, you're trying to age backwards. You're trying to take the fountain of youth, drink from the cup, drink from the well, and bam, you're going to be back in your 20s. No, Nene, no, no, no. Because, see, you start the shit. You, but, well, I think you've been doing it. Because at one time, you said you didn't have your nose done. That, you know, your nose, you know what it was, but it is what it is. Then you was talking about you didn't have your teeth done. And I'm like, I know the person uh, whose father is a dentist that you went to, okay? I know these things, all right? <sighs> what was her, what was his daughter's name? I tell you, when I get on here, Paige. Nope, that wasn't Paige. It wasn't Paige. Come on, he was with Dr. Because I used to work at Piedmont Hospital on the neurological floor. I'm trying to think of the, um... The doctor that did Nene's teeth. What was her name? I probably talked to you on another video. But like I said, Georgia's small. Y'all think it's big and this, that, and third. It's just a small city. If you hang around the right people, you start getting information on other people. And you keep catching them in their lies. But, you know, I ain't trying to throw that out on Nene. Because I feel like this. If you want teeth, if you want veneers, which personally, I wouldn't get veneers because... You're encasing your real teeth um, that may not be that attractive looking. And it's almost like you putting a, a crown, a gold crown on a, a real nice tooth. What you think it's going to do out the wear and tear? It's going to end up um, making your real teeth decay. So that's why I pretty much got dentures. You know, it just is what it is. I clock my own teeth. I don't give a shit. Okay. I love me. I know me. And it's all about knowing thyself and what you can stand and what you can't stand. Now, it was, you know, I had braces early on in my uh, young adult life. And, you know, it was telling you you need to floss and this, that, and that. I ain't floss, but I, you know, I ain't have all those. Uh, I had cavities in between my teeth, but they weren't like where you could visibly see them. But when they start putting all that porcelain on it and, you know, wear and tear, that breaks down too. And they thought I was going to pay for a bridge and a couple of crowns, uh, almost $7,000. I said, no, I can't do that. Just pull all of them out, okay? But pull all of them out. I think I got all my teeth pulled out when I was maybe 38 or 42. So it, might, it just is what it is. And they had taught, tried to talk me into getting the uh, uh the re not removable well no it was removable dentures but you had these uh little silver uh implants that they would you know put in your gums and secure them so you can like snap it in snap it out but i like okay once i snap these teeth out uh am i gonna be running rolling my tongue over some um fixture or a screw in my mouth I, uh, God didn't make that. <laughs> God did not make me to have no screws up in my gums. Because something's going to happen where my gums may inflame. Because, you know, something has irritated, um, you know, one of the screws that's supposed to hook my denture onto it where it stays free. And I don't have to use, like, polydent to keep it, you know, uh, not slipping out my mouth or whatnot. <sighs> Child, uh -uh. But that's why. I do have dentures, but, you know, like I said, I clock my own teeth. Can't nobody really tell me anything in a sense because, I mean, I love me, okay? And I need to lose weight. I know that, but it's hard, honey. That, that, that's, that's, you preach it to the choir, trust me. I have my times where I get down to where I really need to, to be, and then, you know, I just go back up. I'm an emotional eater, uh, so that has a lot to do with things, too. Plus, I hell, I like to eat. I like food. I don't like this rabbit food. I, and then I don't like the exercise. So you see, with age, if you don't do anything, you can't. You, the weight just tends to compile, well, compile, 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 and then you just there. But I said that to say this, okay, Nene, girl, you don't you you look beautiful, okay? Now the the wigs and the stuff, I don't like that. The you know platinum wigs you be wearing, because I know you want to be a white woman and all that. We've all said that uh, in conversations, you know. Uh, over at the house, we, we've talked about you too, Nene. Uh, and I've always said you are a white woman in a black person's body. Just is what it is, you know. You you just just that type of person. You're very materialistic. You like to be a part of the who's who crowd. And, you know, you're living in a fantasy world. You're living in a delusional world. If you think you're going to go and, you know, 
let have with all these people you don't put on an affidavit how much you're gonna meet them in court because they discriminate against you now how you can be so headstrong in that way do you actually think you're going to be running around their circles with the, with the friends that are still good with NBC Universal. Do you think they're going to be inviting you to certain events, you know, the socialites or, you know, out and about and mingling and mixing with one another? Girl, anyway, not my toe to hold, not my road to toe, wait a minute, not my road to, hell, y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I just thought I would tell y'all about what Miss Nene Leakes is doing. And it just is favoring, you know, she's taking some points from Candy. I'm like, girl, really? Is that what we're doing? You just can't seem to get from under her shadow, Nene. What's up with that? Candy did her boobs. Uh, she was getting a, uh, she didn't show us when she was increasing them. But they were kind of heavy for her little frame. And yes, honey, because these are a size double D. 44 double D, you know what I'm saying? And my mom keeps telling me to go do it. But, you know, I'm just mm, I'm kind of scared with the COVID still out there. And you got the monkey pots out there. I'm just scared because I'm telling you, the, the hospitals are very unsanit, unsanit, wait a minute, un, what do you call it? Unsterilized type of envi environment. They have the most germs in hospitals. Y'all be thinking it's clean and everything's, you know, very, um, they're wiped down and stuff of that nature. And I'm pretty sure they are. But I'm talking about the beds you be in. And oh, I'm just saying. Because even people that work in the hospital, nurses, they'll try to tell you, you need to do what we need to tell you to do to get your stuff on out this hospital. Because you can set up, uh, you can come septic or you can get pneumonia by just being in the hospital and just sitting in the bed all the time not moving around you can catch a lot of things so it just is what it is i mean anybody that go and have surgery make sure y'all you know go and do the recommended days and get your head stuff on out of there okay because uh, like i said a lot of it, the hospital is just not as clean as you would think it is trust me i know uh but uh yeah nene is trying to do a brazilian butt lift and she wants a small part of it done I'm like, okay, okay, Nene, okay, honey, but just don't, um, mm -hmm. don't take on more than you can, uh, handle is what I'm trying to say. Like I said, you're, you're 54, 55 years old. You can't run with the young girls no more. You can't look like the young girls no more. You know, you're on the outside, you looking all pliable and, you know, everything's looked toned and stuff of that nature. But you, you're messing with osteoporosis now. You're in that, that frame of having fragile bones, okay? You may look like you healthy and all like that, but your bones, Nene, did you do your DEXA scan, girl? A DEXA scan is where it measures your bone density and, and how fragile it is, okay? I've been having that since I was, I think, 43. I was having them because I was on some medication that I shouldn't have been on for a long period of time. And it damaged my bones. Okay, that's all I got to say. But, uh, yeah, Nina, I don't, hmm, I don't know. What family child think about that? Y'all think she need to be going under the knife again to satisfy her uh, body structure she's looking for? She's saying she's too fat under her arms. She want to get that taken care of. And, you know, uh, in her back area with her bra, she wants to get that. I'm like, girl, you're going to be forever in a day. You're going to be forever in a day going back, getting that trimmed up. Because from what I hear, you get it done, you have to do some touch-up work the next year. You know, it's just a year after year after year type of situation. And why would you want to put yourself under that? You know, you should be getting a lounge together down there selling it. Just like you sold your condo, you need to be selling that lounge because... Nee, 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 nee. It's, it's almost like it's draining your pocketbook because, um, what do you call it? You have to pay staff. You have to get the vendors paid that's bringing in your goods that you're going to serve to the consumer. You have to pay your ex uh, that are in there singing a cappella or whatever you be doing down there. I don't know. But, um, and then you have to bring in your guests, celebrity guests. You got to pay them. So I'm like, to me, it just seems like it's a little bit overwhelming for you because technically um, you should be living your best life. All right. So I don't know. Somebody told you maybe you need to, you know, get your, your body together or something and then maybe they'll hire you. 
But I'm like, would you hire yourself, Nene, if you did all these things you're saying they did to you? Would you hire you? That's the question. So that's all I got for this video, guys. I thought it was very strange. I thought it was very, well, it's not out of her character to want to continue fixing herself up. But Nene has a habit of lying. Because Nene was saying before she got any of this stuff done, and even after, oh, I ain't have nothing done. That's just me. I'm beautiful. I'm like, really, girl? Really? Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure, I can't. Oh, I got to think of that girl's name. She was an RN nurse on the neuro floor at Piedmont Hospital. Mm, what was her name? God dog it. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure I'll think of it sooner rather than, well, later rather than sooner. But I'll put that on a post-it so I can come back and tell you who the young lady is. And that's the um, the man, the, the dentist that did Nene's teeth, okay? Yes, child. Mm -hmm. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Y'all know where to come. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all uh, like my videos and comment down in the uh, comment section. And you can share it off if you want to. You know, it really don't bother me just as long as you're liking and you're subscribing. Okay, that's really what counts. But because I know I'm, I'm not going to ask my family to be doing too much because when, in my part of my family, they, we don't like to be told what to do all the time. If we do it, we do it. Okay, if we don't, we'll get around to it. And pretty much that's how my YouTube family <laughs> is. But they know they'll get their girl together. When I'm out there in yonder land or I'm talking at the side of my neck. Yes, my family do. They come and check me. They check my ass. So I'm like, okay, thank you for letting me know. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I will see y'all next time, next video, because I got to go. Bye-bye.